Hey everyone, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Doing my November empties a little early here um, in the month because my husband and I are going to be gone on a little trip the last week of November, early December. So wanting to get this to you uh, before we leave. I'll try to do some non-waxings first. Finish up a dish soap and Johnny Appleseed. I really wish they would bring these dish soaps back to us, but we'll have to get where we can take in limited collections. But I really liked the dish soap and Johnny Appleseed. Just a nice clean apple scent. Uh, a scent pack in Coastal Sunset. I had this just hanging in one of my girls' closets. Love this one for summertime. Washer Whiffs in Jamie Time. I've been working through this for quite a while. Um, I usually just use this to wash uh, bedding and maybe like blankets, like throw blankets and um, like bulkier clothes, sweatshirts and so forth. Um, so I'll finish up that. And then pods. Um, I put in sleigh rides, so we're enjoying those now, but I took out appleberry pods. I can't remember when I got these. Must have been a flash sale or a clearance, updated clearance section. And these are pretty good. Um, I probably would repurchase them if they ever came to our region. So those are great. But enjoying sleigh ride now for the season. And then as you can see, there is no rhyme or reason to how I, these were all thrown here. They were stacked up, but I guess we'll just grab and go. First up is Hemingway. This was part of Bring Back My Bar, was it January already? Or was it just June? I can't remember. Maybe just June and I held on to it until winter time. Kind of a perfumey, different woodsy type apple scent. Not sure I would repurchase this. It was okay in our like entryway and then our basement, but again, I probably wouldn't repurchase. Just not my favorite take on apple. Scent of the month. From October, uh, Pumpkin Cashmere. Also would not repurchase this. Just kind of blah, perfumey pumpkin. It wasn't really for me. A new release. So currently available in the catalog. Make Me Snickerdoodle. This was okay. Um, it developed a lot more than I... It, like the longer it has sat, the more the spices and stuff have come out. I definitely wasn't impressed when I first got this on cold. But it was okay. Uh, would I go out of my way to repurchase this? Um, no. If I needed to round out a six pack or something and wanted to pick up a bakery, I would maybe throw it in there. But again, not just not a super great performer and not what I think that this could have been. Forever Fall. This was in the, let's see here. There were so many collections released at once. This must have been in the Harvest 5 Bar Bundle. Yes. It's a great pumpkin spiced scent. I would repurchase this. Um, it is pretty basic and that's okay with me. Easy to please, um, in that aspect. So yes, I would repurchase this. You can still get it, I believe, in the Harvest Collection. Otherwise, definitely through Scentsy Club. Um, a bar that's in my club currently, Maple Rum Cakes. This was in the Harvest Collection last year. Was it just last year? A great spiced rum cake mix, or cake scent. Fantastic. I always debate if I'm going to take this out of my club and then I warm it and I tell myself I better not. Pumpkin Cinnamon Swirl. Classic catalog staple. Look how discolored that one got, but it is so yummy. Love that one. Coconut Pumpkin Pie. A few bars I've been hoarding, but I did get through another one because I had acquired one for my mom because she didn't really care for it. So I was happy to take that off her hands. Just One Bite. And from the Villains Collection, I think this is still available right now as well on, the, on my website and your website. Um, another apple scent. This was okay. A lot of people really like this because of the added molasses note in there, in here. And it, it's good. Um, but to pay the extra money for a licensed bar, like, is it awesome? No. I'll just enjoy probably other apple scents in my opinion. <laughs> Coming back in December, I think it's December 1st. I could be wrong about the date. But um, Frozen 2 bars are coming back. Uh, this is the North Calls. I don't remember all the notes in here. I know it's like marine and maybe driftwood and grapefruit. I know there's grapefruit in here. This is fantastic. I love this in our bedroom and bathroom. So I probably won't add it to my Scentsy Club, but definitely picking up a few bars to stock up. This is just really nice kind of fresh scent for winter time. Uh, Harry Potter Slytherin Cunning and Ambition. This is currently available right now. Um, I love this one. This is my favorite from the Harry Potter collection. And it's just like a nice green, mossy, blackberry, woodsy scent. Kind of unusual. Um, it could be stronger, but I like it for what it is enough to just hang on to it and enjoy it. A club bar for me. Uh, bring back my bar from, I don't know, it's been a long time. I've still been getting just flat bottom 
uh, clams of these. I think it's from 2019 was when it came back. So, but I've had it in my club since then and I just can't seem to part with it. But this, as you can see, this was from my January club. So, I don't know, I need to make some decisions. Maybe I'll get one more in my next January club and then end up taking it out. Sorry, this is like a nice, pretty um, dark floral type scent. I only enjoy this in our bedroom, which is another reason why I can only acquire so much because I only get through it so fast in our bedroom, but I really, really love that scent. Just don't mind my sniffly nose, tis the season. Um, Huckleberry Hideaway, this was a new release last year and then it came back. Um, I pretty much warmed this as soon as I got it in. I had ordered another bar in October and pretty much worked through that right away. Love that floral. So currently in the catalog. Seems to be a lot of people's favorite right now was Rum Pum Plum. I am obsessed with this scent. It's just so good. It's such a bright plum. And then the pastry note in here is just fantastic. I will definitely keep picking up more of this and definitely putting it in my club as well. Another new release from last year that came back for this catalog season, White Amber and Silk great perfumey type laundry scent. Um, I did put it in my club last year. I'm not sure I will again this next, this next round because I had acquired quite a few bars of it, but it is just a really nice, pretty laundry scent. Winter staple for me, Polar Bear Hug. As you can see from my stack, like I had a good, kind of a good variety of fall and now trying to ease into wintery type scents. Um, Polar Bear Hug, anyway, classic staple for me. We'll be enjoying that all winter long. Uh, cinnamon roasted pear I had picked us up in one of those it was either a bar bundle or just a scentsy clearance update this is good it just kind of smells like Christmas you know nice um cinnamon it is more red hot cinnamon and then a roasty toasty pear I have a couple more bars of that to get through from the holiday collection vanilla barnwood this is also very enjoyable probably my second favorite behind rum pum plum is vanilla barnwood it's just unusual but a nice kind of comforty comforting cozy scent you can, and you can warm this, I think, anywhere in your house. Living room, bathroom, kitchen. It kind of goes with everything. So I really like Vanilla Barnwood. Frosted Cedar from the new releases. Um, I really like this as well. This is my first bar I warmed it of it. And it is like a nice cedary, woodsy apple scent. Um, I have one more on hand to get me through like the holiday season. Not sure it's club worthy for me. But before the catalog ends, I probably will pick up one more. Palo Santo and Cinnamon, another new release. This is okay. I enjoyed it in our basement, and I actually liked it more than I thought I would. Palo Santo blends can be hit or miss for me, um, but I didn't mind this. This was kind of comforting. Um, I wish I, well, I guess I can always get more, can't I? It's in the catalog, um, but to me, this is going to be, like, really nice throughout the winter, like when we have our wood stove going and so forth. It's just kind of woodsy and comforting that way. So Palo Santo and Cinnamon is um, a winner in my book. Bright Star of Life is staring at me from over in the corner. Love this one. Say no more. It did not come back in the catalog, unfortunately. And a lot of people were really bummed about that. But I put it in my club, thankfully. And I will hang on to it as long as possible. This is my favorite, probably top scent for fall. Love Bright Side of Life. A scent of the month from September or October. Was it last year or year before? I think two years ago already. Um, scary Good. This was probably my last bar I have of this, I believe, with the Scent of the Month sticker still on it. So, a nice spicy pumpkin. Really deep spicy pumpkin. It is scary good. And then the Scent of the Month for November, Mint to be Merry. This took me by surprise. I liked it more than I thought I would on warm. Um, definitely minty, butter and minty, but also really just delicious. I really, I mean, I think a lot of people are equating it to candy cane buttercream, and this one just puts that one to shame for how much more... I think the strength of it, you know, the strength of it is a lot better um, for Mint to be Merry. So really like that one. A couple testers, Scarlet Woods, cut through, and then Johnny Appleseed as well. Johnny Appleseed is, you know, kind of speaks for itself. Scarlet Woods was weird for me. I would not purchase that again. And then a few um, Rose Girls bags. Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, uh, Cookie Butter and Whipped Cream. This was a big sample I had gotten from Jenny. Kind of a different take on fall with that blueberry pumpkin in there. Um, would I pre-purchase a whole bag of that? I don't think so, but it was okay. Do need more of this. Cream cheese wackadoodle. This is such a good mixer. Um, cream cheese frosting, royal sugar cookies, and monster cookie. Again, need more as a mixer. That was amazing. Dark Kiss Bath and Body Works type. I've been working on this for quite a long time. Um, it's just the dupe for 
Dark Kiss from Bath and Body Works. Pumpkin Apple Cake Batter, another fall staple from me from Jenny. Pumpkin Apple um, Bath and Body Works types and then Cup of Cake. And then last but not least, uh, Sugar Daddies and Cookie Land. This is sugar milk, warm apple pie, frosted sugar cookies, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. So a lot going on in there, but really it's just like a really nice um, warm apple pie type scent. Fantastic. Really, really good. So that is it. Um, sorry if it was rushed, but it, like I said, I wanted to get through these before we leave for the week. So hope you all have a great rest of your month, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.